The BRT and why it's important to Raleigh. Hello, my name's Whitney Hill, Whitney for Raleigh. And I attended the CAC meeting uh, online. Um, the meeting was live and online last week. Uh, this is the Midtown CAC. Uh, Larry, Larry Halfont uh, is the uh, chairman or president of that. And it was a real good presentation in there from uh, Het Paytal and uh, Dana Smith of the city of Raleigh uh, explaining the BRT. Now, what does BRT stand for? Some people may not know that. It's Bus Rapid Transit, and it refers to our bus system in Raleigh, which is growing. Uh, I think it's a good thing. I want to talk a little bit about it. Uh, there are four branches of it. Uh, there is the uh, one that goes out uh, west, uh, out western uh, 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 avenue is the uh, route that goes to Cary and then on to, uh, out to Morrisville, out to the park, or out to RTP. And then there's the southern one that uh, goes to Garner and ultimately uh, will go to Clayton. And uh, then there's the new burn, which you're going to hear a lot of talk about because there's a lot of discussion on putting in high density uh, zoning along that corridor. And then there is the northern one that uh, splits uh, basically off of uh, uh, splits from uh, Midtown and also goes out to Triangle Town Center and ultimately is uh, gonna go out to Wake Forest, I believe. Very interesting uh, talk. Uh, this bus system's pretty critical Raleigh and here's why I believe why. One of the biggest reasons is that it's becoming more and more difficult for uh, service uh, employee type people to be able to afford to live in Raleigh. In fact, our police department and First responders are having trouble affording living in Raleigh. Uh, a lot of them have to locate outside the city limits uh, because housing is becoming so more expensive in here. Uh, that's that's an issue in itself. I won't get into that right now. But what it means is that uh, a lot of these people are going to need to move out toward the outskirts and even outside city limits. And have uh, low in, or have um, low cost transportation to be able to get back into Raleigh. Uh, I think our bus system now is used uh, pretty extensively. So uh, for that reason, right there, it's it's pretty important. Now I think the hope is there that uh, higher income people, people who live in apartments in Midtown, uh, you know the uh, more affluent folks are, are going to use it. I'm not sure how realistic that is, but in any case, we do need an effective bus system. It's really important. Uh, one of the things I asked about was security. I think that's pretty important at the bus stops. And there are plans uh, at the I think most of the bus stops, now some, some there's different levels of bus stops. Some of these bus stops are, are basically a sign on a post, uh, but the, the ones that are frequently used, uh, either they're enclosed right now or the plans to enclose them and to have security cameras in these. I think that's, that's pretty important. We want people to feel safe in using them. But uh, my understanding is that the long-term plan is to have security cameras. The great thing about security cameras is it's a deterrent. It keeps a crime from happening in the first place. Uh, it's a deterrent for that. Uh, right now, currently, how much does it cost to ride on the bus service? Right now, it's free. I don't especially agree with that, but that is a throwback back to covid and I think uh, this summer or uh, fairly soon, uh, they're going to go back to a paid bus system. Right now it's free. I will tell you this, I think there's been some problems with the free bus service. The problem with it is, and, and this bears out with the subways and trains uh, up in the Northeast and in different places when you offer free service, 
then you have always kind of a group of people who live on the bus. And it, it's sort of interesting because uh, at the, uh, you know, when the public comes up and speaks at uh, the city council meetings, one of the things that was brought up what, by an individual was that we needed to have more buses, they're too crowded. And he took a video of getting it on the bus and there were, I, I don't think it was his intent to show this necessarily, but there were people with blankets and pillows sleeping on the bus and it was a crowded bus. There was luggage on the bus. <laughs> this is a city bus <laughs> in the aisles. So I think we've sort of created a class of people potentially that are living on the buses. And that's definitely something that we don't want to see. Homelessness is a big problem in Raleigh right now because of the uh, lack of housing. And it's not just lack of affordable housing. I think it's a lack of housing that really all levels because it's pushing folks who might be getting an apartment into affordable housing, I'm sorry, uh, getting a, a house into affordable housing that uh, can't buy a house right now. They they get into an apartment and then maybe that pushes someone out on the street. But we it really comes down, we just don't have enough places to live, but that, that's another discussion. So I really like what I see with the BRT. I think it's really great what they're putting together. Uh, there was one other thing I did ask about, what about connectors where you get a mini bus, that type of thing, or, or they work out a deal with uh, Uber and Lyft. Uh, and those are things that are gonna be looked into. Right now, they don't have any plans for any kind of connector buses. As for, and what I'm talking about here is where you take a, a, a bus out to an area uh, get off, but you need to maybe to complete your trip home uh, or to a place uh, you capture a, a mini bus out on the outskirts. There's no plans for that. They do have plans. They are, they are pushing the bus service further and further out into the rural areas. That's, that's their plan for right now. Uh, but I did ask about using Ubers is connector. I mean, to work, start working with Uber and Lyft. And I think that's something that uh, may be a possibility down the road uh, to where you, you, you know, get an Uber or Lyft. And that, that probably would have to be something where Uber and Lyft would have to integrate technology wise to provide a, a special type of writing service or something along that type of nature. Of course, there's, there's nothing wrong right now with just requesting Uber or Lyft at the bus stop to get home. So that's what's going on with BRT. Uh, I think it's really important. I'm glad to see that we've got this program going. Of course, as you do this thing, there's a lot of discussion and issues and different points of view on it, something I'll be keeping up with. So this is Whitney for Raleigh signing off. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you like these messages. And if uh, you would tell three people about this channel, also, I'd like to hear your comments back on these videos. Uh, I look at these every so often and try to get back on them. So uh, that would be appreciated as well.